So eight days ago, I uploaded a video titled Plasma Charged Power Lines where I showed a compilation of this kind of thing along with the most recent uh, experience where the, pla uh, the power lines were lighting on fire. So today Mr. MB3 showed us another example and between the one I made eight days ago titled Plasma Charged Power Lines and today there was also the birds exploding on the power lines. So this is another example of that memory game I was talking about where you turn a card over and remember, oh yeah, I've seen something like that before. But in this case, we've got about eight or ten examples of the same type of pattern happening. Let's watch the most recent one and then I'll wrap it up as quickly as I can. Flashing lights as there appears to be something interfering with the flow of electricity. And speaking of the flow of electricity, I want to take you guys now to Racine for some absolutely shocking video footage sent in by, by Jessica, taken by Racine County News. This is looking out the back door of somebody's house, and these are power lines behind their backyard. One power line in particular looked very interesting on the, the afternoon of May 16th, 2025. It was glowing. Look like the same color as lava. Are you serious right now? Here's the same video in slow motion. Bright orange power line. Talk about interfering with the flow of electricity. This takes that to a whole new level. Unbelievable footage out of Racine. Get a load of that. Look like a long lava colored glow stick hanging. The original here looks slightly different, like the color Mr. MB3, when he did his recording. This is a short, so it's in vertical video format. I'll include the link in the description. Don't know how well it's actually going to record here as I'm shifting between portrait and landscape. But the original video does look a little bit different. Link will be in the description. It's only like a 10 second short. Also, linked in the description will be this video I produced eight days ago titled Plasma Charged Power Lines, Doomsday Bunkers, and CEO Exodus, where we cover multiple examples. I'll just breeze through some of them real quick. This one would be the power line actually catching on fire, which happened eight days ago. And previous instances, like this plasma glow in the air that's not just a transformer exploding transformers don't continuously explode they go pop they make a flash and then they go out this is something else like a mr mb3 says it looks like a a glowing plasma ball in the sky or something behind this guy's house and we got other examples like this energy on the loose And then he shows something else in the sky. Let's let's give that one a full go. Energy on the loose. Energy on the loose. Okay. And then we cover cover some other examples, like the one that's arcing and sparking in this person's backyard. There's two camera angles on this one. Here's the better camera angle. It's all part of the same pattern. And no, it's not just electricity over surging on the grid we're seeing solar lamps flashing car headlights flashing the electricity is in the air not just in the grid it does get into the grid but that's not where it's coming from and then i show the end result of these overcharged power lines 
is the same electricity that creates plasma fire. Even when it's not on the power lines, you can see the electrical uh, burn signatures on trees and bushes and on the ground. Come on, give us the goods. I'll include link in the description. You can watch this. It's over an hour long. And here we have another example. In that same video that I titled uh, Plasma Charged Power Lines, another glowing power line. Exactly like the one that we covered today in the most recent example. Glowing power lines. Mmm, plasma charged power lines. I think there's a pattern unfolding here, and it has to do with electricity and fire. Plasma fires, aka electric wildfires, the same cause of the plasma fires is now causing flashing lights, glowing power lines, amongst other things. I'll talk a little bit more about it in a future video. I want to make this short. Because I'm feeling the effects of the uh, radiation in the air kind of getting to me. I'm kind of under the weather tonight from it all. So the video titled Plasma Charged Power Lines Compilation, that was eight days ago. This video, 50 birds exploding with electricity and flashing with electric discharge, was six days ago. And today Mr. MB3 shows us another glowing power line. I expect it to continue to accelerate. There it is. There's the thumbnails. Eight days ago, plasma charged power lines, doomsday bunkers, and CEO exodus. Hashtag plasma apocalypse. Six days ago, 50 birds exploding with electricity. And today at the very top, oh, and my last one was electricity in the air, fire in the ground. But today we're going to add another glowing power lines. I'm going to talk soon about the big picture of what's going on here, the public disclosure of this, where the government is trying to rein in, ban of, of suspicious observers, because the disclosure to the public process is better left up to the officials and authorities. Ben is an expert in his area of expertise, but this requires a very delicate and sophisticated sociology, psychology, understanding. And ultimately, someone asked me, well, Ben says, if that was an L-shell surge, we've only got a few weeks left. Left to what? Watch the movie Knowing with Nicolas Cage. And in the upcoming video where I go in depth, we'll talk about the Whisper people who swooped up his kid. But the movie, knowing, gives a very good depiction of what we would see. In that video, the movie, knowing, with Nicolas Cage, they didn't show trees burning from the inside or irrigation trenches burning like I showed you a week or two ago all around my house. But they depicted it the best they could, the best way that they understood. So maybe get that movie under your belt, so when I make references to it, you'll know what I'm talking about. The movie was from 2009, Knowing with Nicolas Cage. And you see the image of the earth on fire. And then there's the whisper people that come to ferry his, his kids off to the new world, the new Adam and Eve. It's a must watch considering that's what we're going through right about now. And I've actually referenced that movie many times. This one, four years ago, titled Knowing, movie clips in description after the gold rush, 
Mia Culpa. This one titled Knowing Two, it says six years ago. That means it was over six, between six and seven years ago that I made this video titled Knowing Two. When young men will have visions and old men will dream dreams. And this one, After the Gold Rush, Knowing Deciphered, three years ago. I think you can probably find it free on YouTube. It's a uh, required reading for this course in history and contemporary current events.